with 2019 NFL free agency in the books, let's take a look at our latest league-wide power rankings for the upcoming season. Where are Tom Brady's Patriots, after Rob Gronkowski's retirement, along with the Jets, Giants, and Eagles? Here's where. 1. Patriots, yes, Gronkowski is gone for now, but the defending champs still have that Brady fella. And Bill Belichick 2.2. Saints, the potential issue here, how long can Drew Brees continue to play at a high level? We aren't ready to give up on him yet. Point 3. Chiefs, we are still really high on them, despite the departures of Mitch Morse, Justin Houston, and D. Ford. Patrick Mahomes is a huge difference maker. Point 4. Rams, a lot hinges on Jared Goff here, after that lackluster Super Bowl. The Rams brought back left tackle Andrew Whitworth, but they didn't make major splashes in free agency. Point 5. Chargers, may be a bit too high for them. They didn't go huge in free agency, but sometimes retaining your own key guys, like Denzel Perryman, matters more. 6. Eagles, can Carson Wentz stay healthy? If he can't with Nick Foles gone, the additions of Malik Jackson and Deshaun Jackson won't matter all that much. 7. Colts, had a ton of salary cap space entering free agency, and didn't really use it. Andrew Luck is healthy again, though, and here is a key re-signing that maybe didn't draw a lot of acclaim, cornerback Pierre Day's 0.8. Bears, presuming Mitchell Trubisky continues to get better and that nasty defense continues to thrive, the Bears will be a force for a while to come. Point 9. Seahawks, the retention of pass rusher Frank Clark under the franchise tag was big. We like how the rebuilding process is going in Seattle. Russell Wilson is still one of the game's best point one zero. Texans, some question marks in the secondary, with Kareem Jackson, Kevin Johnson, and Tyron Matthew gone. But the Texans, with Deshaun Watson, should still challenge for an AFC South title. Steelers Mike Tomlin is sick of talking, hearing about Jets Le'Veon Bell, Raiders Antonio Brown Pittsburgh Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin clapped back after two of his star players left the team. 11. Cowboys, Demarcus Lawrence is back, but a lot comes down to Dak Prescott here. Can he continue playing like he did in 2018, after a slight drop-off in 2017, 12? Browns, maybe we are still underrating them. But we'll believe it when we see it with this franchise. Will the Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham, Baker Mayfield combination be productive or ultimately far too combustible when adversity hits? 13. Vikings, time for this team to cash in on that massive Kirk Cousins contract. Bringing back Anthony Barr, albeit for a too high price, was a significant move. Point one four. Titans, health remains the biggest question for Marcus Mariota. So Brian Tanhill, presuming he can stay healthy, provides something of a safety net. The signing of offensive guard Roger Saffold was one of free agency's best moves. Point one five. Ravens, we like the call to go all in with Lamar Jackson. Earl Thomas should be an upgrade from Eric Weddle, and it's not like he stinks. Point one six. Packers, they really went big in free agency on defense, adding Zodarius Smith, Preston Smith, and Adrian Amos. They can't all flop, can they? 17. Steelers, with dramatic disruptions Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell gone, things will be a lot calmer in 2019 for the Steelers. But will the team actually be better? 18. Falcons, how much will the Falcons' offense miss Tevin Coleman? Their defense will love having Brady Jarrett back. 19 Lions, they overpaid for Trey Flowers. Matthew Stafford isn't really elite anymore. And Matt Patricia might be overmatched. Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, point two zero. Jaguars, sorry, but we aren't buying Foles as the definitive savior in Jacksonville, even if he will be an upgrade from Blake Bortles, not exactly a high bar, point two one. Raiders, they paid entirely too much for Trent Brown. Powder keg potential in Oakland this year, with Antonio Brown. This organization is still feeling the pain from the Khalil Mack trade, even with prominent off-season additions. 22. 
49ers, the Quan Alexander signing was one of free agency's dumbest. And we still aren't entirely sold, on Jimmy Garoppolo.23. Panthers, they lost key veterans on defense, but added Matt Parity on the offensive line and resigned Darrell Williams. Still, they appear short on talent.24. Jets, where exactly is the pass rush going to come from, maybe from a drafted edge rusher? Everyone is raving about Sam Darnold, but he needs to show more. Oh, and the Jets don't really have a legit center right now. That's a problem. 25 Bills, weird signing with Frank Gore. But Morse, as developing quarterback Josh Allen's new center, should definitely help.26. Broncos, could be a rough first season for Vic Fangio in Denver. Joe Flacco isn't a long-term solution. Cruel irony for John Elway that he hasn't been able to draft a legit quarterback so far.27. Buccaneers, who really know with Jameis Winston at this point, though the addition of Bruce Arians could help? Maybe.28. Bengals, they should be tearing down and rebuilding, post Marvin Lewis. No reason Andy Dalton should still be around.29. Giants, they're clearly rebuilding, but Dave Gettleman threw big money at Golden Tate. What is Gettleman thinking? 30. Washington, Case Keenum? Yeah, OK.31. Dolphins, most dire quarterback situation in the league, even after adding safety blanket Ryan Fitzpatrick. 32. Cardinals, why does general manager Steve Heim, he of that extreme DUI arrest, still have a job, if he's going to give up on Josh Rosen after one year? Huge indictment of Kime if he takes Kyler Murray no. 1. Daryl Slater may be reached at dslater at needvansmedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Daryl Slater. Find NJ.com Jets on Facebook.